As an honor to the sacrifices of Indian soldiers, the government of India named 21 uninhabited islands in Andaman and Nicobar after the recipients of the country's highest wartime gallantry awards, Param Veer Chakra. The strategic location of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands puts India in a dominant position in the Indian Ocean. Initially, these uninhabited islands were called with numbers like INAN-370 and INAN-308. Now, after this decision, the first island, INAN-370, has been named Somnath Island. The name comes after the first recipient of Param Veer Chakra, the late Major Somnath Sharma. Similarly, INAN-308 has been renamed as the Karam Singh Dweep in the honour of Subedaran Honorary Captain Karam Singh, who was awarded Paramvir Chakra for saving a forward post at Richmar Gali, a small border village in Jammu and Kashmir during the 1947 India-Pakistan War. One of the islands is also named after the Kargil War saviour Captain Vikram Batra. The rest will be named after the recipients of Paramvir Chakra, namely Major Rama Raghubar Rani, Naik Jadunath Singh, Company Havaldar Major Piru Singh Shikhawat, Company Guru Bachan Singh Salaria, Lieutenant Colonel Dhan Singh Thapa Magar, Subedar Joginder Singh Sahanan, Major Saitan Singh Bhati, Company Quarter Master Havaldar Abdul Hamid, Lieutenant Colonel A.B. Tarapore, Lance Naik Albert Eka, Colonel Hoshiar Singh Dhaya, Second Lieutenant Arnal Khetripal, Flying Officer Nirmal Jeet Singh Shekhan, Major Ramaswamy Parmeshwaran, Captain Bama Singh, Captain Manoj Kumar Pandey, and Subedar Major Sanjay Kumar. Several of these islands are protected forest areas. However, some are in use for water sports and tourism. Welcoming the decision, the Member of Parliament of Andaman Nicobar Islands, Kuldeep Rai Sharma, said that this is a moment of pride. Andaman and Nicobar Islands have seen sacrifices of many freedom fighters, including Veer Savarkar. The decision of naming islands after soldiers who kept the country sovereign has been welcomed by all.